Okay, hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing good. I was thinking, you know, my favorite colors are basically earth colors. I really don't hang colorful paintings throughout my home because they don't go. I am more of browns and golds and coppers and that's why I do a lot of metallics and stuff. So, and bronze, my, everything in my house is earth colors, earth tones. So, I, I figured, well, I'm going to do one of those wandering pours, but I'm not going to wander it. I'm just going to go straight down. So, this is a 10 by 20, and I need 10 ounces. Hopefully, this cup is all good. I'll grab another one. There's something in there. And these are the colors I picked. And my, this is my light on, yeah. And I'm during the day here, so hopefully we're not getting all that weird glare from the sun rays. I don't know. I did it one time during the day, and I got sun ray glaze. Glares. I hope not. I am using burnt umber. Okay. Burnt Sienna. And then I'm using raw umber. I'm using copper. And I'm using old gold. And I am using white flow artist law and black so here we go <laughs> and I hope this works out the way I'm gonna do it so we'll see everything is mixed with two parts flow trail one part paint and a tiny little bit of water I mean not even a fourth a teaspoon, hardly nothing in water. Because I wanted it thicker, on the thicker side. And I'm not going to put a base coat down. I know that that usually does help, but I've done them before without base coat. So hopefully it will turn out okay. But yeah, I've always known that the base coats will help your rings define more better. And you know, you can just pour Floetrol on your uh on your canvases however for a ring pour i wouldn't advise it because you don't want cells you know so we'll see hopefully i won't get any cells i got my paint thicker i'm not going to put a base coat down which i should but i'm not that's the only thing i'm kind of scared about but i don't know you know what i might need to close my door so that dog don't hear me talking. And, all right. So yeah, two parts flow trial, one part paint. That's it. No silicone, of course not. And is there anything else? No, that's it. Okay, here we go. All right. So. A little bit of water, white. Tiny bit, man. And even less black. Okay. Old gold. Raw umber. I love raw umber. It's so pretty dark blue brown. Now I'm gonna do that little tiny bit of white. Mm, now that's good. I wanna overdo it. Even less black. <laughs> so I'm using the white and the black as the contrast for the ring. 
So every two I'm going to do the white and black. This is the copper. And burnt sienna. Or no, burnt umber. the burnt sienna. Now I'm going to repeat those steps until I get up to 10. Oh no, I have to do it different because I already put my white. I'm going to have to skip the white and black and just go gold now. To keep track of this. I'll go ahead and skip that and I'll go the white and black I'll skip and okay, now I'll go the white and black very a little bit <sighs> copper Let's see two four six Um, burnt umber and burnt sienna. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go. Now, just a tiny bit for my beginning. All right, guys, here it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. I know this is always slanted, so I may have to tilt it up while I'm doing it. That's the one thing I don't like about that. Uh, usually, if I go like this, there, it stays. All right. So, I can bring this down just a tap more while we're doing this. Yeah, I'll leave it alone. Uh -uh, mess things up. Okay, we'll go. We want it to stay in the middle, that's for sure. You know what? I messed up. I want to do do rings. Darn it. <sighs> Sorry, guys, but yeah, I wanted to swirl. Well, we'll see how this works. But I don't think it's going to come out rings. I know it's not going to. Oh, I can't believe I forgot that. Man. 
So yeah, usually when I do straight pours, they don't come out right unless I swirl, so. <laughs> I totally messed up. Well, I do it again. It's just so brown and woody. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is gonna be a pretty background, but we're not doing that one. Well, that did not work out. Sure, it's pretty though, but nope, that didn't work out. So, but I'll have this as a background for a pretty burnt umber flower in there. Ugh. Okay, so let's go ahead and drain off what I can. Because you can't have a string pull with a thick. So maybe that little bit of white and black just didn't work. So they blended too much and they would have worked out if I would have maybe put more white and black in there. So that didn't work. But that's okay. We're going to do it again. I have more. So that is pretty beautiful for a background string pole. I'm not going to waste that. And hopefully that's not too thick. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to use is the dark. Or maybe I should use, oh, that's irritating that I forgot that. Well, actually, like I said, I didn't use enough white. I was just trying, so trying something new. But what I'm going to do then, gold would be pretty here. Metallic gold. So I've got some pre-mixed metallic gold. See what happens. Just hate to switch that off because it's so pretty. This is not that thick either. So I have my little metallic gold. And I have my ceiling fan chain. Take this knot out. <laughs> wow that's a bummer I was really envisioning that cool but I have enough left to do one more of each color so I'm going to go ahead and do this off the camera though and I need a lot of chain here That was a bummer. Well, what are you going to do? Maybe this will be pretty. Okay, so I just ringed it through my fingers one time. Can I see? Probably not. I'll do it right here.
I don't think this is going to show up too well. Then I think it's going to sell up. My fingers are taking off a lot of paint. Oopsie, that's not going to work out too well. One more. <laughs> I know it's not dark enough. That's it. That's all I'm doing on this one. It is pretty though. If that don't sell up, I'll be happy. Okay, so let me put this in water. I'm not going to add no more and ruin it. Okay, so that's this one. My next video, I will try it again. That turned out completely centered too. And that is beautiful with that background. Is that not? Hopefully you are seeing it for the true colors and the beautiful background. And I left, didn't want that flower too high. Because I wanted to show this up here. It turned out and it's not selling up, guys. Look how it turned out pretty. I love this little flower right there, too. The way that's kind of coming out there. Ooh, that's neat at the end, too. Right on. So it's not selling up. A little bit right there. But the petals are not selling up. And I like this background, the side view. It's pretty. This is actually very beautiful. As a matter of fact, I'll probably hang this up somewhere. Because this is the colors of my home. So, there we go on this one. <laughs> I'm happy with this, at least. <laughs> I really am. I love it so much. It is so elegant looking and beautiful. With that metallic gold really was a good choice. I'm glad I didn't pick the darker. So glad. Okay, so here we go on this one. That at least was a success. And it's a beautiful 10 by 20. Beautiful, beautiful painting. Okay, so I'm going to go lay that down. Then I'll be right back for my second video to try that ring pour because I'm determined. I have a little bit of paint left, not a whole lot, but I think I'll be able to get come up with the 10 ounces. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.